Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. So, I think I promised that I'd be doing this run, uh, using the mini LHC gun, and I guess major moves, because realistically, I wouldn't, uh, I, I hold no illusions that I would probably die if I used anything else. I'm not very good at not hitting myself with splash damage, and realistically, when it comes down to it, I'd rather not deal with it one way or another. Even if I was good at avoiding it, this is just easier. Now, last run was, eh, I'm not going to say disappointing, but it ended, well, it ended in death, pain, sadness, that kind of jazz. Oh, there's an 8-bit cannon right directly behind me. Okay, let's test our bullet dodging abilities. There we go. And that actually worked a hell of a lot better than I thought it would. Let's check out the volume. It's gotten very loud in here. Just strange. I guess maybe I'm just, oh, of course. I usually have the volume turned down in the settings on voice meter, which I use to control my various audios. Not so much in, uh, well, I, I turned it back up so I could listen to videos on YouTube. C completely forgetting that uh, that still determines game volume, which is why everything is suddenly very, very loud for me. You guys aren't going to notice, though, because when it comes down to it, I'm going to adjust it uh, as per normal in the video. So. Anyway, how's this run going to go? This run is probably going to end in pain, sadness, and fire. But that's okay, because honestly, we're running the mini LHC gun. It's one of the, what, two guns I have left to beat the game with, and if we do actually manage to eke out a win, I'm going to be surprised and very, very happy. Speaking of surprise, that was a bit spooky just walking in and seeing a butt-ton of uh, spin bots. This, this is the exact reason why I didn't want to have... Uh, well, like self damage on based on weapons, mainly because I'm going to sh be hitting a lot of things very close to me. I tend to, well, shoot in a semi melee range, as silly as that sounds. That'd actually be really cool to have this game with a melee weapon. <coughs> huh. I don't. Uh, I don't know how it would work. It would definitely be insane. It would be very hard to deal with a lot of things. Specifically. Oh dear. This is going to be problematic. Uh, specifically, it would be very, very painful to deal with, uh, well, things on the ceiling specifically. They'd, that would either have to be, like, cut out entirely or severely reduced in some way, shape, or form. Because otherwise, well, uh, there'd be somebody on the roof and you'd pretty much be screwed. Peasley little secret there, but that's okay. We now have enough money to afford a shop if and when we find one. Yeah, see, those things specifically are why, you know, a melee run would be actually incredibly difficult from a, like, gameplay perspective. It would be cool, it would be really cool to have, like, a laser sword, but the chances of that being feasible with the way the levels are set up are, well, slim to none and slim to painful, mainly. Anyway, what do we got? I thought I heard a bomb launcher somewhere along the way, but I guess it must have been my imagination. Hard to tell. Anyway, let's grab the blue EXP. I guess just slowly take out the, uh, BFGs. I've actually already forgotten what their name is. Uh, it's like beefy turret or something, but for the life of me, I can't remember. Oh, that's where the bomb launchers are. They're up there. Well, I'm going to ignore them for a little bit because there's just a little bit more on the power-up side of things that I'd like to get before it all goes away. There we go. And there's one more. Nope, we missed it, but we get a jump height. That's going to be useful. We're actually getting some nice movement-based power-ups here. And my mouse pad has eraser shavings on it, which is... The most uncomfortable thing to run your hand across. Now wait, we're going into the boss almost at weapon level 3, but, you know, almost is not actually at, so who are we fighting? We are fighting a Longhorn. Well, this is actually fairly fortuitous. Because, well, this is the only gun with a stun effect straight off the bat, and uh, that slows down the Longhorn substantially. If we had a chance of getting behind Longhorn, today would be the day, but I don't think we're going to get that chance. It also has a huge enough splash radius that I can mostly avoid all of the spin bots that he summons. There we go, and we're done. And what did we get? Crit. Ooh, that might actually that might actually help us substantially because this gun, as like useful as some of its abilities are, is a little bit low damage. But with crit, that would be quite good. The only thing I could say I would like more than crit would be either rapid, spread, or uber. All of those would be pretty ridiculous. Everything else I'd say would be on kind of the low priority list. But let's be honest here, most of the other weapon mods are pretty low priority from the start. Um, I guess let's let's look at the facts. Fire mines, mines, even TNT with most guns is pretty crap. 
because when it comes down to it, you want more damage and not splash damage, because realistically, the splash damage is nice, but the thing that's probably going to kill me in the end, for a second, I thought we were still in the foyer, and I was confused why I couldn't get to the secret area slash dedication room. Go figure. Anyway, uh... But mainly, it was like, AoE would be nice, but when it comes down to it, it's far more important in my mind to have single target DPS to take out the Maw, because... Well, you can probably survive past really everything. But if you can't fight the mob, well, then there's just no point. Anyway, we've got a secret over here. The question is, what is it? It is, what, four or five coins? Yeah, that's not worth it. There might be something else, but I never actually remember in this room. Maybe it's something down in the lava that you can swim down to. But considering we are not running Fire Force right now, there is no point for us to want to do that. Let's just, I guess, bounce our way across. I'm very glad we've picked up the speed upgrade and the jump height upgrades, because they are going to make us nice, jumpy, and more so dodgy. And dodging is uh, tantamount to success, so the more jumpy and dodgy we are, well, the more the cops are going to look at us weird when we walk by in the street. But uh, apart from that, we are going to be able to avoid death, presumably. Uh, presumably. Right, it sounds like we've got a lot of these guys. Yep, just around the corner. Man. The, the one thing I have to say about the LHC gun is it has the biggest splash damage of every single gun, I guess except for the Troll Hunter. The Troll Hunter, I think, has... Uh, I, I think it's no contest, actually, in that one. Troll Hunter has the better AoE. I just bumped my headphone cord into the microphone. <sighs> Sorry when I do that. I was reaching up to scratch my face, and, of course, I have cords everywhere, so I'm, like, kind of wrapped up in my own nonsense. Hmm. Okay, it's worth it. Painful, but worth it. And we got an upgrade, but mainly we got a difficulty reduction, which is going to be uh, quite useful. Because when it comes down to it, the less difficulty we have, well, the longer we're going to be able to go. Though, if judging by episode 77, which is what, two, three runs ago? Uh, yeah, judging by that one, even with difficulty plus plus, you can win a run if you're lucky and skillful. And I didn't even feel like I was particularly lucky that run so much as just very good at dodging. And I, get, I guess uh, Logistics was very kind to me as far as giving me my, like, health back. Anyway, we've got a lot of bombs hiding around or floating around here. I'm kind of ignoring them right now because I'm trying to get all of the gluey XP because also I'm trying to lure them out into an area where I can get their pickups or at least walk past and maybe magnetize them to me, which would be beautiful. I'd love, seeing as this gun has a bit of a freezing effect, I'd love it if I could actually, like, freeze the lava, but that's not the case. Anyway, let's see if I can lure this blue EXP to me. Thank you. There we go. And I guess we're going to take a little bit of damage here, but it's going to be worth it. There we go. Not much damage. I would put that in the realm of very tolerable. Coins? Coins come to me? Nope. Coins not going to come to me. And it looks like we got a shop in the back, and it looks like another difficulty reduction, which I'm totally down with. Because, well, the lower the difficulty we have, the easier this run is going to be. If I can secure a win with the mini LHC gun, I'm going to be quite happy. Because, uh, I think, what, way back in the day, like, early alpha beta of this game, I actually did have a solid win with this gun, and then have never managed to reproduce it. But I guess you could chalk that up partly to... Well, didn't have to fight the Maw, and there were less uh, zones, enemies, whatever in the game. Hard to tell. Anyway, now we've gotten to the point where we do enough damage. I was hoping I could freeze myself and go slower down, but I didn't manage to uh, get close enough to hit anything. But that's okay. We've got a couple of... Well, I think they're triple spin bots up there. I haven't been paying too much attention. Yep. And they're wiggling out on the level architecture. Glad to know that I'm not the only one who is a victim of that kind of business. Anyway, let's grab the power-ups. We're almost at level 5. That's going to be really helpful. Really helpful. And don't see the other triple spin bot. So either it blew itself up down below us, which is entirely possible. And actually, what happened? Hmm. Nah. I'm probably not going to make it in time. And realistically, I could take some damage. There is one... Weapon EXP token now. It's like, well, I could, but I'm not going. Oh, I could, but I'm not going to. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, there was another secret area in there that I had never noticed before. Hadn't ever properly been looking. 
but I just want to see if I could get... I, I, no way I'm going to be able to get there right now, but if I were doing this normally, I would actually be able to get up there, or at least with, you know, a number of extra jumps. So, keep that in mind, Wander, for when you have triple jump or something, because, I mean, realistically, in that case, it was just a health token, which is pretty darn useless to us, but still goes uh, going to be filed under the realm of things that Wander would like at some point in the future. Anyway, there's a difficulty up. I want to specifically avoid getting that at all costs. It looks like all the twerps are dead anyway. Oh, there's some money over here that I didn't even notice. It was blending in. Go figure. Wow, only a couple of twerps spawned. Anyway, we're in a very good spot. We're probably going to lose some of our weapon EXP down to weapon level 4 before this boss battle is done, but that's kind of under the realm of to be expected. And realistically, we're not in a crappy position, so even if we drop down to weapon level 4, we're going to be in a pretty damn good spot. Yep, there we go. Lost it. I'm not entirely sure what hit us, it was probably just like a little bit of fire from Lantern of Fullest, but seeing as we've got speed and jumps and whatnot, let's actually just circle strafe and jump like a, I don't know, hyped up kangaroo and take them out. Oh, a little bit of fire there, but that's okay. Should be able to get enough blue EXP from all this. Maybe not. Guess not. Not the end of the world. Anyway, what do we have waiting for us? I don't know. The bomb- Oh, bombot canister. One of my favorite items. Because, well, free loot. Not much else, but can't complain about it. It's like the mystery box, if the mystery box turned violent and generally only had minor pickups. Best part about the bombot canister, though, it charges itself. We're already like a quarter of the way there, so I should be able to use and abuse it fairly substantially this run. Which is great. Anyway, let's get through the teleporter and cross our fingers and hope we go to the battlements. We can go to the warehouse. I wouldn't feel too badly about it. Wow, we did not find that many secrets. I guess we did find the secrets. Yeah, we're going to the warehouse. I don't like the warehouse. I mean, that that should be obvious from my playstyle and whenever we get to the warehouse. And it does have some cool stuff. And honestly, I've gotten some pretty good, like, drops from it. But I find more often than not when I go through the warehouse... It always results in me taking damage. Okay, so we've got eight shot up here, and we've got the the smorgasbord of bomb bots and whatnot. At this point, I'm kind of wishing I had me some um, shot speed. Our shots fly very slowly, so I'm going to have trouble hitting those turrets. But when it comes down to it, uh, I guess the other thing I'd be wishing for is junk man. But when it comes down to it, we're going to be solidly at we weapon level five by the end of this area. In fact, I think we're automatically going to be at weapon level 5, no ifs, ands, or buts. And we're also going to be pretty pretty high on the health meter. In fact, I think we're full health. So I guess all we have to deal with at this point is getting the money and getting out of there before the tokens disappear. Okay, there we go. And we don't have enough jumps to make it to the, what, singular secret area in this room? But that's not that big of a deal. Let's just take out the cannons, hope they drop something nice. They drop some okay things. And let's summon some more bomb bots, and then take them out with our insane AoE. I was really hoping for an upgrade token from, like, one of those, maybe, but you know what? We've already got two of the most useful things, and we do a lot of extra damage, so I can't complain too much. We're we're doing alright. Especially with the, what, double difficulty reduction? That's gonna be useful. Okay, right, looks like we've got a couple of super cannons up along the way. Gotta be a little care careful about that. Also, the ET guns, I remember them uh, not so fondly from, what one or two runs ago. I think it was actually yesterday's run, or I guess the last run, for your guys' perspective anyway. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, uh, it might be kind of hard to see from my perspective, and I'm not going to go looking at it again, because, well, we got some other stuff to tangle with, but there's an armor pickup over there, which is exactly what we can use. Also, item charge, that's going to be useful, because that means we're going to be able to farm some more bomb bots without issue. Now, let's see if these guys dropped anything of any use. Pretty much no, just a bunch of like little passive pickups, or not passive pickups, uh, tokens. I didn't do words, but essentially health and blue EXP, neither of which we particularly need. In fact, all we need is to get the armor and then continue on through. There we go, armor plus plus, and what room are we getting? Great, it's seeming fairly vanilla as far as like what rooms we're going into, which is great because I would have really disliked having to deal with the, oh boy. This is going to get problematic. We've got a bunch of 8-bit cannons directly above us. Oh, okay, so apparently they aren't there. Let's summon the uh, bomb bots. I really hope there's nobody up and behind us. Does not look like the case, but 
Oh, there's a guy directly below us. That's where all the explosions are coming from. Well, first, let's take out this guy. And I think I already took out the other one. Yes, I did. Oh, that makes my life easier. And there's this guy who's hiding up on the wall. Like uh, some kind of demented Spider-Man creature. Except for not Spider-Man. Spider turret. Spider turret. Shoots me in the face. Can't sing, but that's okay. So, buttload of money. Another 8-bit. Can't hit me. That's good. I was really hoping for like a secret with a shop. I guess that's part of the reason why I don't like the warehouse. Half of these secrets are impossible to reach by, you know, normal means. So it's more often than not kind of pointless to be in here. Because I always feel like I come out... not Well, yes, usually I come out worse for the wear just because I got my face handed to me. And it looks like we're probably going to be fighting Doomball, maybe? I, like it. I guess I have to drop down. Well, I'm going to save those passive pickups because they're not going to go anywhere. And it is, in fact, Doomball. Well, we've got the speed and the jumps to get past him. I just have to make sure I don't slow myself down because if I slow myself down... Well, then we're going to be in a bit of a pickle because then all the missiles are going to figure out how to catch up with me. Meaning I have to keep my distance from Doomball, but that does not, uh, that is not a hard challenge, and when it comes down to it, uh, it goes by pretty quick. What do we have? Mines. Well, I was complaining about this earlier, and, uh, do not want. But that's okay. Do not need either. We've got the crit mod, and like I was saying, there aren't a whole lot of better mods for us right now, so, meh. That was probably the easiest warehouse run I've ever had. I also feel like we found zero secrets whatsoever, which is kind of frustrating because we need the power up, but we made it through the warehouse largely unscathed, yep. And, eh, could be worse. I guess we're going to Hugbot Alley too, which is really useful. And since we don't need the power ups or anything like that, we can make it through. No problem. Now, I was looking up stuff for Hugbot Alley, and I didn't get a direct confirmation about how specifically you're supposed to trigger it, but I think just avoiding killing Hugbots might be a large section of it. Might also be related to how many secrets you found in a run. Uh, could also be difficulty level, hard to tell. But that it always contains, as far as items go, uh, you know, a bunch of passive pickups and either the Toga Trooper Wing, the... Oh, shoot. I should have saved that for the Motivator. Oh, well. Not that big of a deal, motivator levels very quickly anyway. Uh, even though, I, I guess the motivator actually would be really useful for this run, considering we only have jump height, no actual, uh, no actual extra jumps, which does mean a bit, uh, like a bit of complicated stuff if we do actually make it to the mall. There was a secret there. Okay, I never got a direct confirmation on this, but apparently there is one secret in Hugbot Alley that I need to go looking for the next time I go through. Because when we entered Hugbot Alley, we were at 33% secrets found, and when we left, we were at 28%. Meaning, we missed something. And that means, well, Wander needs to go looking for some stuff. Now we've got homing purple crap. Let's get the blue EXP on this gun. Luckily, this gun is more effective at lower levels, so I can actually use it to do some damage here. Apparently it crits really hard, unless the uh, crit mod is actually... The, yeah, the crit mod seems to be transferring over to this weapon as well. That's actually really useful. And hilarious. Uh, watch out for the fire. Weapon level down. Okay, note to self-wander. Stop leveling the motivator. You can deal with that later. Let's just take everything out. Really, I should have taken this thing out early, early on, but eh. But it was... Uh, what? Okay, for a second I thought I pulled out the Peas and Carrots pistol and it got very confusing. Because they're colored very similarly and I was just like, Since when did I have this gun? That would have been hilarious if it turns out that, like, my LHC gun had morphed into the Peas and Carrots pistol for some mysterious reason. Hilarious and unfortunate when it comes down to it, but that's okay. Anyway, let's see what we've got in line for us here. Looks like this is one of the rooms with the nice secrets. It also looks like we've got... Item charge. I forgot to use the bomb bot ca canister. I've honestly been forgetting about that. Which is bad move, Smokey Joe. I don't know who Smokey Joe specifically is, but let's get all the blue EXP while we're safe down here, because, well, nothing can shoot at us. I know the home... Ooh. Because we do actually have some, some guys going after us, but not a big... Not a bad move either way. Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's kill these guys. Motivator is leveled up to the point where I am satisfied. And I guess for some reason he wasn't shooting down at us. Well, I'm happy about that, and he gave us more than enough health. 
to get back up to full, or at least almost back up to the full to the point where I don't feel too bad about mis mistakes. Ooh, ooh, oh, they're directly above me. Well, that means I'm not going secret hunting yet. I have to get up here and uh, deal with the riffraff, specifically the... Wow, this gun actually does a lot of damage now. That is... I'm very happy about that. Okay. Now, it looks like we got a bunch of... Uh, a bunch more bomb bots coming at us. It looks like there might be a mine layer directly below us. No, it's over there. Well, uh, meh. Should be able to go and kill it, no problem. It's, I was hoping I could use the motivator to... Oh, well, this is interesting. I was hoping I could use the motivator to launch myself across, but it was not nearly as successful as my imagination was leading me to believe it would be. Anyway, let's, I guess, get it, get the heck out of here. We've got a, ooh, a lot of scary all over the place. But luckily, we do a fair amount of damage and have really high splash. So, uh, it's actually pretty easy to take on an entire uh, salvo of turrets, or whatever you want to call them. Not entirely sure on the proper terminology you want to go for, for just like a lineup of pain. I guess lineup of pain is a good term if you really want to go for the grim. Anyway, let's uh, slow ourselves down and then float over here. Take no falling damage and get a health pickup. Nice. We need some more shops. We need some more passive pickups. Damage would be nice, but not wholly necessary. Armor, speed, and most of all, jumps. We need jumps, otherwise we're going to have some serious trouble against the Maw. If only because, well, we're pretty ground-bound as we are. Worst comes to worst, we will have automatically one type of jump, but not more than that. Anyway... Let's launch ourselves across. I was hoping I could do, like, slow-mo flight, but it goes away way too slow. Uh, oh, right, there's a secret in here. Do not forget, Wander. You need these secrets, otherwise you're not going to win the run. And, well, winning the run is actually pretty important to me right now. Usually I don't care about winning or losing, but... You know what? If I get the chance to win with a gun that I haven't won with yet, well... Uh, there's... My de determination is strong for that kind of thing. Anyway, let's get out of here. We've got a lot of item charge bonus which means the Bombot canister should charge really quickly. I just need to remember to mash E in any and all circumstances. Because realistically, Bombot's not that big of a threat to me, and the more I can summon, well, the more better off we're going to be. So, let's head for... Uh, I don't think we're, it's time for us to fight the boss just yet. Ooh, hello. <laughs> well, this is debatably useful. But, we got it. So, we've got the crit mod, and we've increased our critical chance. Not entirely sure if that's going to work out in our favor or not. It might have just been a completely useless spend, but when it comes down to it, we've got more than enough money for it, so, I don't know, who cares? So we've got a lot of scary and a lot of tanks. The tanks are low on the priority list. Luckily, we can take out the homing purple crap launchers, which I'm very happy about. Let's just kill. Whoa, this is way more than I was expecting or bargained for, but that's okay. Summon some bomb bots. And just let them take themselves up. The tanks are going to be shooting at us shortly, which I'm not happy about, but don't have to worry about too much either. And apparently he is still alive. Uh, die. There we go. He is dead. And since we're, we're actually doing really great as far as everything goes, especially if and when we take out these tanks, because, well, say we take them out, we should be uh, charged up on the bomb bot canister, and that means our health is going to go back up. And we should be good in a couple other regards. Oh, we got one more homing purple crap launcher. Let's take him out first, because the tanks probably aren't going to be able to hit us, but uh, well, the sm smaller, lighter, and really just the homing stuff from the purple crap launcher is going to hit us, because I'm dumb, and that happens way more often than I'd li like to or care to admit. It is funny, though, when it happens, though, because, well, you know, s suddenly, uh, suddenly I've blown up. I've already beaten the boss, and it's just like, well, that that's Tower of Guns for you. I like it when that happens. I don't know. It's nice to have that, like, almost joking dose of reality where you're dead, son. But, I don't know. It makes me giggle. It's much better than, like, just being, oh, peppered by things outside of my reach and, like, ability to hit. I really hate it when that happens. <sighs> so pretty much any time I run with the Hedgehog Launcher realistically. Anyway, let's take this guy out. Just get the heck out of here. I, I guess, no, we can't leave quite yet. We've got more things on the way, though we don't have any extra jumps, which means this is going to be a little bit more complicated. Hmm. 
I guess there's the interesting question of would we even be able to make it as we currently are? It's hard to tell. It's worth a shot. We're pretty high on health, and I feel pretty confident in my ability to get more. So, I mean, worst comes to worst, we flub it. And not terribly bad things happen. Plus, we've got the motivator. Well, that didn't work. Well, let's just do this the uh, lazy way. Oh, this is one way to do it. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if... I might actually be able to get enough of a boost from that if I'm not stupid. To get up. Yes, there we go. That actually worked out incredibly well for us. Thank you, Motivator, for being in existence. Anyway, we pretty much got nothing of wholly useful... We got nothing of use in here. Oh, right. We're not done yet, though. Hmm. There, there's a secret area here. It's just a matter of finding it and remembering where it is. And, like, in scenarios like this, I just want to, like, fly there instead of actually... Oop. I want to get knocked off by anything. Ah, there it is. Hup, there we go. And that was not worth it either. But we got the secret, which I'm pretty proud of. And let's get out of here. We didn't take too much damage from falling. And, well, I think that's the first time I've ever actually used the motivator in... <laughs> a uh, useful sense. Usually I just pick it up and ignore the crap out of it. But in that case, well, that was really useful. Let's get through the door. Eventually. Wish the doors just like blew up or something like that. That would be amazing. Ooh, it's the scary room. The scary room is actually not so scary, especially when you have really crazy AoE. It's scariest when you've got like Egon's Pride or something like that. Ooh, it is a bad situation to be in. Well, luckily that uh, mine turret was blocking the shots. For us, so we didn't have to worry about it too much. Looks like we got a lot of scary up above us. Oh, uh, maybe it's not as scary as I'm giving it credit for. It's it's just a 8-bit uh, turret. I was expecting something a little bit more heinous, like a super cannon, but does not look like that's the case. Really we could go for some magnetism right about now. That would be nice. Anyway, let's quickly... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Don't go in there, don't go in there. Difficulty minus minus, difficulty minus minus. Wow, this is going to be probably one of the lowest difficulty runs we've ever had. Fortunately, we still have to worry about pretty much everything. Oh, that's an extra jump. That's going to be very helpful for us, and I'm so glad we actually have the LHC gun. This is probably the best case scenario for having and using one. Because, well, slowing massive amounts of enemies at once is exactly what this gun is made for. I think I may have run into a spin bot there, but that's okay. We're pretty much full health. We still have the uh, Selvos of Death uh, directly above us. But, well, now that all these spin bots are gone, that's not nearly as threatening or scary. I guess we're not entirely done with the spin bots. There's like two, three left. Not a big deal. Anyway, so we've got him over there trying to find my cursor in all of this, but the motivational blocks actually make it kind of hard to see. Right, let's get the money. And we've got at least two more 8-bit turrets directly above us. But we do have... We do have two jumps now. We have an extra jump height. So we're in a really good spot now. This this room was, well, in as few words as possible, extremely worth it. All the extra item charge has also made the bomb bot canister pretty quick at charging. Now, I think we've got, uh, yep, we've got an 8-bit turret that has discovered our presence. That's okay. Let's just take him out slow. Take him out real slow. Here we go. Oh man, uh, just talking like that makes me think of, oh, uh, makes me think of Bastion specifically. Probably one of my favorite games. Definitely up there. Uh, definitely, probably on par with this one in terms of like. Wander uh, is so glad he got the chance to play it. Um. Okay, so we got some coins over there, but uh, the narrator in Bastion is just mm, that voice. Wish I had it. Uh, voice that deep and low, but when it comes down to it, I'm close enough, and I'm happy with my voice. I, I have, I've definitely mentioned this multiple times in the past, and I'm definitely noticing it's progressing as I kind of thought it would, where, you know, I, I mentioned early on, didn't really like the sound of my voice. Oh, gotta get out of the purple crap there, or away from the purple, purple crap. There we go. So, you know, especially starting Let's Playing, you really are not used to hearing the sound of your own voice. So, you know, you first hear the video and it's just like, 
I sound like that? God, I should just quit right now. And when it comes down to it, uh oh. I was gonna, oh right, we have an extra jump. Oh, well, that was incredibly fortuitous. I was just like, we are in trouble. We don't have any extra jumps. And then it turns out we did. So now I guess we just take out the flamethrowers will be uh, pitifully just shoot us, shoot at us. And well, it's just kind of embarrassing. Anyway, but yeah, I've definitely noticed my voice is getting lower as I do this more often. I think my voice, I don't know, it's developing in weird ways that you wouldn't normally get unless you were either like a public speaker or spoke a lot for this, that, or the other thing. I think um, if you watch Game Grumps, Ego Raptor was talking about that. And I mean, I will admit I will name drop people as kind of an example, but if you ever saw like Ego Raptor stuff from, you know, 10 years ago when he was really starting the, you know, awesome series. Oh, well, this is going to be a problem. Uh, his voice was much higher. And even at the start of Game Grumps, his voice was much higher. And at this point, he's actually dropped a fair amount, which is kind of awesome and terrifying. Anyway, so we are fighting. Ooh, this might actually be good. We do a lot of damage, presumably, and we do a lot of splash damage. Unfortunately, I don't think we slow down the tumblers, which is kind of a problem. But hopefully, yeah, we. I think we might actually have enough armor to be able to fight the Egg Scrambler with uh, less consternation. Let's get the health pick up. We need that because, well, I was a wee bit dumb and was letting them hit me like that. Oh, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the... Unfortunately, I don't have the damage. Shoot. Things the Wander wants to avoid, just getting hit by one of those tumblers like so. That said, I think we're going to be okay. It's hard to tell. Ooh. They're like two stacked up on each other right there. And it's a wee bit painful. Ooh. We're, we're definitely losing health in stupid ways. And hopefully we can get him onto phase two quickly. There we go. And at this point, I'm going to jump all over the place because I think that's going to be the only way we can survive this. Ow. No, we're getting dragged along by the spikes. Ooh. This is always such a stressful boss fight. I guess I'm just going to sit up close to the explosions. Nope. <sighs> God damn, the egg, egg scrambler is the rough, rough boss. Well, you know what? Uh, as I was talking about, sometimes it's nice to have a heavy dose of reality. That was a great run regardless, but disappointing. We flubbed it there. I walked into the spikes a little bit too much, and realistically, if I hadn't taken the early initial damage, we actually probably would have made it out of there. But we would not have made it out of there in one piece. We would have been uh, pretty heavily injured. Anyway, that was still a very good run. Uh, probably one of the best runs I've ever had with the mini, mini LHC gun. Sad it ended, but, you know, sometimes it has to. So, I'm happy. Anyway, so, I will see you guys on the next episode of Tower of Guns. I will probably actually do something new. Maybe I'll use the, like, saw blade launcher for once. Maybe I'll use one of the other perks I haven't used yet. Maybe the lifeline or... I like Junkman, actually. I was kind of poo-pooing it a while back, but I actually like it a lot. So I might do a Junkman Constellation Charger run. Or, I mean, I actually really like Junkman and the Hedgehog gun. But I've been switching back between the LHC and the Hedgehog way too much. And I feel like I should branch out a little bit. Or, you know what? Come to think of it, I'll just do a Nightmare run next time. Yeah, if I remember. I better. Anyway. See you guys next time.